we know it must be annoying for us to keep pointing out something that you cannot translate with your physical senses and what we want you to do is to try to be satisfied with the knowledge that if I can feel it that then I will soon see it you've just got to find some way of soothing yourself that since I can feel it therefore it must be and if you can accomplish that the receptive mode just means you're receiving something so you could be in the receptive mode of what your vortex is offering up or what vulnerability offers in other words you're always in the receptive mode so if you just start there by acknowledging that whatever is occurring to you whatever thoughts are coming to you whatever manifestations are happening they are happening in direct relationship with whatever receptive mode you're in an easier way of hearing it is whatever mood you're in so that's elementary isn't it in other words you understand that you all do don't you you understand that so now let's add another factor to that and let's call that factor momentum and let's talk about why momentum happens momentum happens because you give your attention to something you give your attention to something and then something manifests and then you give your attention to something and something manifests and you give your attention to something and something manifests you have it so good because you're out here on the manifesting edge you're out here on the edge where whatever you've got going on is showing itself to you moment by moment by moment by moment by moment you have no excuse to be oblivious about what your vibrational countenance is because the things that are manifesting around you are evidence of what it is if you are aware of the way you feel and you sort of kind of like that feeling so you focus there it will become more and more and more and more and more you could take any thought of minor importance and you could focus on it and bring it to a place of momentous importance and it would manifest in this day every single one of you could do that with anything that is important to you this is the power of the universe that you've got working with you this is the power of the focus of source energy that you've got working with you you have tools at your fingertips you have the energy that creates worlds flowing through you you see you can be or do or have anything but you've got to break it down in some way that you know that you are doing it so we would suggest that you pick something that you pick something that is of some importance to you and you decide that you're going to focus on it until you can show yourself in one day you can show yourself how the momentum gathers around that subject in one day from the point of just being able to talk about it to the point of feeling fairly good feeling emotion about it to the point of really feeling excitement about it to the point of it manifesting in one day you can do that you can do that and you do it all the time that's what's so funny about this conversation you do those things all the time you just don't know that you're doing them and so you don't give yourself the credit of focus that you deserve to give yourself the credit of focus spend more time in the vortex what do you think's in there anyway it's really funny here's this vortex all ripe and ready and really eager well we are the eager ones to show it to you and you're over there saying I don't see it I don't see it I don't see it and we say that's why that's why you got to look where it is and feel like it feels so pick any subject look where you think it might be if you feel that something is lost where you stand and you believe us at all that there is a vibrational version of you then look in the direction of this vibrational you and describe it to us if you feel lost what does found feel like if you feel confused what does clarity feel like if you feel poor what does richer feel like in other words you got to look where you think you are so look there and describe that for just a moment and stop the other I've been doing this I've been doing this how do I get the money out of the vortex and into the bank when does it come to me but you see you can't talk about why the drought is unpleasant and attract the rain you can't talk about what's missing and allow what's missing to be fulfilled you've got to find a way to look at until you allow yourself you see you don't have to build the momentum in the vortex the momentum is already built you ask and the momentum is already gathered and it's huge and ready for you to receive it is it too big for you to receive it 
no not at all could you get ready to receive it yes are you ready right now no could you get ready yes are you ready now no could you get ready are you ready no do you want to get ready yes you want to get ready so do you believe that there is a vibrational version of things that you want yes and do you think that you could find any words for them or is it just a big murky mess of a mist of little pieces of things that you've thrown into it or do you think there's anything in that that you could define and see it isn't easy to go there because you don't have the momentum but we promise you the momentum will come fast you see it's easy to tell the other story because that momentum's there it's easy to say all of those things but it's not how it needs to be what's in your vortex that you would like to define we just want you to find some simple thing that's over there like a state of clarity or any old thing what's there that you want what's there that's missing what's found that you feel lost from what's over there that isn't over here what's over there that you want what's over there what's out there what's up there what is it that you want what do you want that you don't have pick something that you feel close to so when you say I want cars or I want everything and you say how just change that one question to why because the why will hold you in the momentum of your desire longer the how almost every time will take you out of it whenever you ask yourself for an answer that you don't have you lose your connection but when you ask a question that leads you further in the momentum of your desire it allows the momentum of the desire to go further did you hear that how can I help myself to get to more of the receptive mode um, even though I think it I know it I feel it isn't the first thing knowing whether you're there or not hmm yeah we talked about this already too but we really want to amplify it here it's a wonderful wonderful question how can I more deliberately and effectively get into the receptive mode here's a very powerful answer sometimes you can't so just give it a break sometimes something's happened and you just feel negative emotion and the harder you try the worse it gets the harder you try to solve a problem the bigger the problem gets so understanding how you feel is an important component of this but what we've noticed as we have visited with so many of you since the beginning of your existence is this it always gets better if you'll just give it a minute so when you decide to stop the struggle and stop trying so hard to prove your worthiness and stop trying so hard to get it right and start trusting that it's on its way to being the way you want it to be if you could just settle down a little bit and allow it to be it's the trying too hard that is tripping you up and most of that is because you care too much about how you appear to the others around you you care more about what others think about how you're doing than you do about how you feel in the moment and so when you let your relationship between your inner being and you be the thing that matters the most then it's just easier and easier the reason that we teach meditation and this is really for you this statement it's easier to teach almost everyone to have no thought than to clean up a negative thought because you're invested in the negative thought law of attraction already brought you a lot of ammunition law of attraction has already shored up your negative belief that's working against you you see and so if you can just quiet your mind your vibration will rise and then you can come at it again so if you feel like you're in a struggle take a nap if you feel like you're in a struggle take a walk do something to break the cycle of attraction if you can and meditation is the most powerful tool that we know of for that you're doing extremely well you're consciously aware of how things are unfolding we know that you're in a vibrational place where you're consciously aware of how you feel and witnessing what's coming but you are like so many others you are doing more of your taking score when you're not where you want to be than when you are where you want to be and so we just want to make this strong statement to you in every waking moment you are either under the influence of your inner being which means you feel great some version of great you feel frisky or light-hearted or silly or clear-minded or interested in something it feels really good to be tuned into your inner being and there are lots of emotions that indicate it but they all feel really good 
when you're under the influence of your inner being that's how you always feel or you could be under the influence of something else and so if you'll just stop and ask yourself when a strong emotion is within you especially if it's a strong negative emotion what influence am I under and you acknowledge oh wait a minute don't beat up on yourself because it's just fine just acknowledge that when you're under the influence of something other than your inner being you don't feel so good and these are the most powerful words that we will ever speak to anyone these are the words that we want you to take away from this gathering if you feel like it and always understand that this is the essence of everything that we teach here your singular work is to calibrate yourself to the frequency of your source that's your singular work calibrate yourself to the frequency of your source is there another way of saying that Abraham yeah your singular work is to get happy your singular work is to feel good because all the other stuff you've done it without even needing to know that you were doing it you were born into contrast contrast gave you data and information you filled your vortex full of all kinds of things that you want step one and step two have already happened your singular work is to calibrate yourself to the frequency of your source which means your singular work is to feel as good as you can feel whenever you're focused upon it but the question that you're asking is but when I don't feel good how do I go about that calibration and we say that's really what you've got to figure out how to do because when you know you're out of sorts and you're determined that you're gonna get lined up usually you make it worse because you're trying too hard and why because you're aware that you're not where you want to be and trying to push where you don't want to be away from you can you feel it yeah yeah just take it easier be nicer to yourself do more things that are fun get out ahead of it meditate every morning segment and ten before you walk into a segment acknowledge the positive aspects of your life count your blessings make lists of positive aspects look for reasons to feel good and if you start early enough in the day before reasons that you don't feel good have shown themselves to you then you're off on the right foot so to speak and then just stay after that until before you know it you're just feeling good mostly not always not ever always you're human here to sift and sort and launch new rockets of desire just stop beating up on yourself when you're in step one let it be a step five moment oh contrast one day Esther was dusting an etagere with all the beautiful things that she and Jerry had collected from all around the world and the shelf came off she didn't even understand how the thing was constructed and the top shelf banged into the second and the third and everything on the shelf was broken Jerry's in another room and he can hear it and he says stand still because he knows Esther has no shoes on so she stands and there are shards of glass all over some of them sticking in the floor broken everything from the shelf and Jerry said oh good something to buy <laughs> that's all gone now what now we need stuff to fill that shelf back up and boy isn't that a fun thing to do you see and so it doesn't matter where you are the universe is rich with all kinds of things to satisfy and surprise and delight you yes yes this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment thank you <laughs>